anything I've learned in college, it's that it's okay to fail, but the bigger thing is for you to get back up and try again instead of giving up. So yeah, believe in yourself and it's okay to fail. My best and favorite memory of Illinois ECE would be my AI driven project that I built and released during the 2020 Hack Illinois Hackathon. And my advice to future ECE students would be sit in the front row because you definitely find the best friends that way. The best memories I had are those projects I've been through. All the designs I made, all the mistakes I made, all the bugs I fixed. And those are tough, no doubt, but I'm glad I've had those great experiences. To make use of all that ECE at Illinois has to give to you and really maintain the connections that you make here as they're valuable. I really enjoy the time in this school and this beautiful campus. Really had well, had four wonderful years here. I'm leaving here soon, but I will never forget the time, the effort I put here, and the friends and teachers that I met. And the exceptional professors in their classes to the games held in Memorial Stadium. College life here can be so rewarding and so much fun if we spend our time here well. And the, the curriculum at Illinois can be really tough. You know, oftentimes it's been late nights or early mornings in the lab or in the library working on stuff. And to have other people that are alongside you that you're working with uh, makes things a little bit more fun. And that, that feeling of completing a project as a group is just a, is an awesome and rewarding feeling. So that's definitely going to be one of the positive notes I'm going to be taking with me from my time at Illinois. One thing I would say is that this place is full of opportunities. Make sure you make the most of it. Make a lot of memories and this place will always have your back. My favorite memory would have to be my junior year at Engineering Open House where I worked with the National Society of Black Engineers to build a robotic tank that you can control with a PS4 controller. At the time I was also working with the Illini Mentor Program where we mentor local 3rd to 5th graders. That my fellow peers, especially the ones that I met to, through my two clubs, VC and HKN, were always supportive, welcoming and kind. I like to think that I did my best during the past four years to further propagate this positivity and kindness in the rest of the department to help students shed their inhibitions and feel at home at Illinois ECE. My greatest accomplishment at EC Illinois was completing our senior design project with me and two other group members. Following the success of our project, this project felt very rewarding to me and also signified symbolically the closure of my college life with UIC and specifically with ECE Illinois. My favorite memory of Illinois ECE is when I got the opportunity to attend the Grace Hopper Conference through the ECE department. This experience was memorable for me as it was an invaluable networking experience. My best memory and the greatest accomplishment at Illinois ECE has been the final projects of classes like ECE 385, 391, and 411. Doing these open-ended team projects inspired me to think creatively on hardware logic, operating system, and computer architecture. My best memory of EC Illinois is definitely pulling all-nighters with friends in ECB and working on projects and assignments until sunrise. Stay strong, take care, Congratulations 2020 ECE, good luck to all of you. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Bardwaj and I'm one of the co-chairs for ECE SAC, the Student Advancement Committee, similar to our ECE student government. First of all, congratulations everyone. I'm excited to be with you here today, even if it's virtually, to celebrate getting our degrees in ECE. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Sabler and I'm also a co-chair for ECE SAC. I'm glad we get this opportunity to celebrate together and recognize this incredible achievement. My time in ECE and college has completely changed me. Four years ago, I couldn't possibly comprehend or visualize the feelings or the mindset that I have right now. You come in as a senior in high school, complete deer in headlights and on top of the world. People tell you EC is challenging yet rewarding, and there's no way to truly understand the weight of those words without going through the process yourself with utmost integrity and hard work. What other degree provides such an eclectic mix of pain, joy, suffering, and hard work? Being an engineering student at a top school, there are times when the workload surpasses the number of hours in the day. 
This has been explored experimentally. And I've certainly had moments where I felt like I wasn't good enough at a topic compared to my other peers in ECE. But now that I see this perspective obviously fails at acknowledging how we all complement each other's strengths. And I can remember all the late nights in various labs and study rooms, you know, caffeine well past an acceptable time of the evening to be consuming that third mocha. And definitely after those nights, I'd wake up in a frenzy most days, thinking only of how fast I could get to the ECE building just to keep working. I always felt like there was something else I should be doing, even if I was always being productive. And I vividly recollect moments where I'd failed a test or was stuck on an assignment and I couldn't get it done in the many hours I spent on it and didn't see an end. And unfortunately, I can recall all the spots where I've cried on campus and in the building, experiencing insurmountable stress and feelings that I could never understand the concepts in one class, let alone all my classes. And yet the thoughts of giving up were kept from becoming actions by our desires to learn and continue with resilience. We were enraptured by the labs and research, getting to design, build, and problem solve from scratch. I've explored much of ECE as a field, often outside the classroom. I tend to have an intense curiosity in short bursts, sometimes shorter than the length of the thing I'm actually working on. Learning to build the best out of situations where I had to provide my own motivation took time, and I'm still working on it. Working with the department to help the student experience has been a major piece of my time here. The most rewarding moments for me, on par with successful projects and papers, are actually those moments when I was in front of the audience rather than a member of it. And admittedly, there's times we could have made it easier for ourselves and not dip our hands into everything in sight. Leadership, research, part-time jobs, sports teams, project teams, you name it. We both have this tendency to take on way more than we can handle and constantly try to stay afloat and contribute to all the things that excite us. ECSEC has been that constant for both of us. It's also allowed us to be a part of the department, working with the faculty and administration to better the ECE community. We've gained friendship, leadership, and the confidence to always voice ways to create an atmosphere of encouragement and collaboration, both inside and outside of the classroom. And we've even gotten exposure to our incredible alumni network, years of people who've been through this exact same program, rising to the same challenges and complexities of being an engineering student. We've even had the chance to attend EC alumni awards banquets. And I even remember one of the recipients that particularly resonated with me. She did her degree in electrical engineering and then went on to law school. Although her career has nothing to do with engineering, she said in her speech that engineering stays with her every day because of the problem-solving skills and especially the resilience that she learned at ECE Illinois. I remember feeling so empowered by her speech that day and later at night laid in my bed thinking about what exactly that meant to me. There's times where I didn't understand concepts at all from back in my freshman classes and now suddenly it clicks like second nature. We're constantly learning and challenging ourselves so that no matter how long it takes us to learn, we ultimately do learn. And perhaps that's what EC has taught me, and that's what her speech taught me. Beyond the coursework, we've all learned to be resilient, and we've paved a way for ourselves to be lifelong learners. This symbol, or this degree symbolizes the years of hard work, and that will now be a foundation to continue to learn any discipline or study, not just limited to engineering. Gathering together virtually is a poor substitute to being on campus, spending the final days of the semester around our friends, mentors, and favorite windowless rooms inside our buildings. Keeping that in mind, it is important that we still give proper acknowledgement to our triumph. What we have done, both across many years and the last few months, is no small achievement. The theory we master, the techniques we practice, and the projects we design are far and above the bare minimum. And as we move into our next steps, keep in mind how much easier things will seem in comparison to what we've already done. And when things are harder than EC, we'll know what to do. Woohoo! Congrats again, everyone. Congrats. The advice that I would share to graduates is that, you know, things are, uh, you know, things are a little crazy out there right now and um, it feels like you know this big blip has happened but i think one thing i've witnessed over the last 20 years um, is that you know we are watching we're, we get to witness an exponential curve happen in our lifetime right the growth of technology moore's law network users and so there's still many great things ahead 
and really just be excited about the impact that technology can have on the world and the impact that you can have on technology and technology's future. And so don't mistake a, a momentary blip with a long-term change. I think after the dot-com boom, um, a lot of us, we were in school at that time, we thought, people were saying, oh, the internet is over. And I think you can all see how that prediction played out, right? The internet touches us in more ways than, than we could have ever dreamed about in 2001. So stay positive about the future. It is an incredible time to be a technologist and an incredible time to be a University of Illinois grad. Congratulations to you. And we look forward to having you join us in the Alumni Club. The most important thing I can say uh, to students is, look, congratulations. Congratulations to all of the Illini ECE class of 2020 graduates. You're welcome and you know, and welcome. We welcome you as ECE alumni. It's a great place to be. It's spectacular to know you're trained well and that your future is bright. I'd like to say congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Um, welcome as new ECE alumni. Uh, go out there and change the world. You've got it in you. Congratulations to all the Illinois ECE class of 2020 graduates and welcome to our ECE alumni family. I was going to pass along some sage advice to you um, as you graduate, but instead I'm just gonna make this observation. You were born shortly before 9-11. You lived through a major recession and you're graduating during an unprecedented time where a global pandemic has cut short your senior year. So if anyone's ready to take on the world, it's you. And I really mean that. And with your ECE degree in hand, the world is your oyster and you have the unique ability and responsibility to make the world a better place. And when you find success, and I know that you will, don't forget where you came from. Um, give back generously to ECE Illinois. So to the class of 2020, congratulations. I can't wait to find out about everything that you accomplished. Your futures are so bright. Uh, again, congratulations to all the Illinois ECE class of 2020 and welcome as ECE alums.